Overnight, U.S. Uh, naval forces have fired 59 Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles at a Syrian air force base in retaliation for the chemical attack in Idlib province a few days ago. Uh, on the face of it, this is a very significant policy indication from the Trump regime of uh, a willingness to use force, but the damage may well be superficial. Uh, my analysis of the, the strike would be that it's, it's meant more as a signal of President Trump's willingness and intent to use force um, to enforce his own uh, proclamations, perhaps in implied contrast to the Obama administration. Um, however, the requirement in this case to have provided the Russian uh, military in Syria with advance warning of the strikes sufficient to move any of their own equipment and personnel away from Shirat Air Base uh, will also have provided the Syrian military through Russia with that advanced warning, um, giving them time to evacuate uh, you know, serviceable aircraft and any critical equipment and personnel that they could within those couple of hours window. Um, so the damage the attack has caused uh, is significant to the airfield infrastructure, but it's, it's a kind of tactical pinprick uh, in the Assad regime's military. Uh, it's certainly not going to be enough on its own to cause some sort of strategic shift. Uh, in the Assad regime's behaviour. It's worth noting at this point that uh, you know, prospects for a diplomatic resolution of the Syrian civil war are as far away as ever. The Assad regime, <clears throat> backed by Russia, has indicated in no uncertain terms by actions as well as words that it's very happy to raise Syria to the ground in order to stay in power. Uh, you know, a few US tomahawks are not going to change that. Uh, the problem for the US going forward trying to remove Assad, as been stated by uh, Secretary of State Tillerson as an objective, is that that requires Russian cooperation uh, because Russia has expended a lot of geopolitical capital as well as military forces in Syria, uh, setting itself up as the defender of the Assad regime and indeed a potential defender for all uh, regimes threatened by the West with kind of regime change. So for them to do an about face on this, which would be required to open up airspace uh, for coalition operations on a large scale against the regime, they would no doubt demand a you know, very steep diplomatic price involving you know, Crimea, Eastern Ukraine, the Baltic states even, um, in terms of uh, NATO concessions. So uh, I don't think there are many easy options going forward uh, for the US to militarily try and get rid of the Assad regime. Um, because all of those options require Russian cooperation and as we've heard today um, they are going, moving in the opposite direction, ending deconfliction um, for the sorties against Daesh uh, as well as beefing up the Syrian air defences going forward.